So this is the second video of me installing the camshaft uh, into the 2JZ. I'm sorry that was too long when I was putting together and you can see here I'm putting together and, and I mean it was like a 25 minute 30 minute video so I cut in two first part is just the lifters which is the video not this video the video before this one um, lifters assembly lube and all that stuff and I put the two caps necessary to not break the camshaft my camshaft was fine didn't break that's what the manual says but you know do your your research be sure that you're doing the right thing uh, it'll work for me in this video here we're going to put all the other caps so I'm going to start by um, uh, cleaning so that's why I stopped on last video to put the caps one and three which are the VVTI and the other the two first ones right the ones that seal uh, from from uh, the police so I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy but that's clean and before um, I put that one in here I am going to put some assembly lube everywhere because I don't want to sit with my gasket for a long time so I'm gonna put all of them in there and also here we also have some but I'm not gonna put too much in here because because of my gasket so let's call that good now we are gonna get a the two um, caps we have I'm gonna remove from here let's see if I can use this one I'm gonna be a little generous in here it was just the tape I think it was clogged there you go so I'm gonna get in there little gasket in there too so let's go to the engine okay so with everything clean we go in here push the cap number one right in there and I think this is a cap number three we are gonna push right on the other side I don't know if you remember but we have some uh, I put oil in all of those um, yeah oops there you go so there is a, a specific sequence in here um, I have here in a paper and I'm just following this uh, which starts I'm just gonna zap this so don't don't uh, don't do that so okay so it's just tight enough same thing here Okay, one, two, and then three and four is actually this guy. So that's what I was waiting for. Now five and six, this guy.
All right. So now we're gonna torque. So we're gonna do 15 foot pound. Uh, count from the back to the front. We're gonna count one, two, three. So we're gonna start in here. Uh, bottom. Let's see. Uh, and top. So I'm not quite going all the way. I'm going like 11, 12. I'm gonna do a couple passes. So then uh, you go back one, two, well, all the way to the front. And let's do this two one, two first ones. Okay. Okay, now three and four, and then skip two, and all right, now seven and eight is the next one. Nice. And 910 is this guy here. And 13 and 14. All right, so we did once all this sequence. Uh, I didn't want to go all the way to 15, but now we are going to do uh, 15 foot pound, which is actually torque to 15, but I can see here. Uh, how much is in there? So I went around like 11 or 12. Now I'm gonna do again, but 15 for real. So when it beeps and it gets a steady beep, I'm done. Um, yeah, and I think we can go from there. All right, we made an excellent product. Pro we made an excellent progress today. Um, I just put this uh, VVTI sprocket in there, but. Um, this is not tight. We're gonna install this um, the next time or next video when I put the water pump, which is gonna probably fill up this this hole in here, uh, and then we're gonna put some other stuff uh, VVTI related that is in there. You see my bench is like way cleaner. I don't know if I'm gonna throw that uh, oil pump away because. You never know what's gonna happen, right? I'm drifting, you know, it breaks, and I have an extra right in there. So I might, I might keep it, but uh, yeah. So that was, that was all the sequence. Uh, if you look at the manual, it says release a couple of those caps until it's loose, like, uh, until it, not, not take all the way, but just uh, until you can finger, finger, Move it, finger, untighten it, is that a thing? Uh, and then you use the uh, <clears throat> wrench or put a bolt in here or something and then make it turn. And then when you turn, tight those back and then untight some other ones. I'm not sure, I'm gonna read a little more about that. But uh, if you're following, if, I mean, if you're just watching me, it's fine. But if you're following me what I'm doing, um, I'm not a mechanic, so I take my own risks, you know, um, that's risky. I mean, it's whatever I did is risky, right? I could have broken my, my camshaft, but 
I don't care. So, and that's why I, I end up getting stuff done. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, double check, read a little bit because I I know that there is a some other weird stuff happening and um, but I'm almost positive that I'm not gonna do it so anyway we stay here with this um, this uh, step right now I'm gonna cover the engine I am about to make a video uh, on the water pump so if you're interested don't forget to subscribe I'm going to build the whole engine, so I built from scratch. At this point, you, we have everything, um, the whole assembly to here. We have videos, so, um, and probably we have more. I don't know when you're watching this, but anyway, don't forget to subscribe. It gives me a, um, a hand on um, creating more, um, getting more stuff, getting more, um, uh, learning more and making more videos for you so you know how it goes I'll see you on the next video